Good lord, what did I get myself into? What you guys are looking at is the uh, Torque F9 before assembly. <laughs> uh, my honey and I uh, brought this stuff up. God, this thing's tall. This thing is so tall. Let's see, I'm thinking I have 96 inches in length. Yeah, these were not light. 810 pound freight came to our place with four boxes. I got the optional bench that you get that you have to assemble. It has its, its instructions and everything. All the components came in together, all the pieces, so you can observe it. I know you can see this uh, instructions online, but what you don't get to see is all the components. They actually label the step one, two, three, four, so you can't mix them all up. They make it all easy. There's the instruction booklet and manual, and shh, don't tell them, but I, Put together from their booklet online and I went to FedEx and I printed out a poster uh, so I can work out too. That's uh, I'm old school like that. And the box is full of weights and stuff. You know, these are all 10 pound each. Um, there's the backboard right there. I'm assuming that holds all the components. And then we got the uh, pull up bar, that exercise bar thing. And these are the doors I believe that shut it. But I don't think I've seen any video out there of this, but I'm going to start assembling this and it's not going to be a how-to because it's online. So I'll just uh, see the results when it's done. All right, I so far got the weights in. Tip, um, instead of the instructions saying to put the stacks and those, uh, um, those two heavy-duty solid steel uh, beams in there first onto the floor and then start sliding the stacks, my opinion after doing this, Put the bolts in the one that says the step after this put these bolts in then put the sliding things on there because they're gonna sit where they need to be and then you got those rubber rubber stops right there in them and then uh, you don't have to put them in tight you just screw it in and then you can tighten it later then you put the slides on here also keeping track um, the shorter ones go in there in that packet that comes with four nuts and the longer one goes back up here because this has that extra meat. So these are longer length ones. They go at the top and the shorter ones at the bottom. And then uh, over here, these have been uh, pretty easy. I used a box wrench to go on this side and this side. This is the only time it's opposite, but I noticed they have the Allen holes all going in that this way and the bolts going on that way. I, I'm using an impact wrench, so it's making it a lot easier, but you can use standard uh, wrenches and stuff. Be careful with the impact wrench. Uh, even, even as stiff and strong and thick as these steel pieces are, um, I accidentally uh, went er and folded this metal in a little bit, so I backed off, and, uh, and then it bounced back up, though it had some memory. Um, it's recommended you need help when you first start these to put these together to start this bracket together. But I just balanced it against the wall in my couch, and I carefully moved that together. They're kind of heavy, but once you get them together and solid and you mount it tight together, then you can move this frame wherever you want in the room. Make sure you make up your mind where you want it in the room. Because I got the lower stack, so this total is 300 pounds right here. And this is the light one. But that's, that's uh, with the frame and everything, this is already probably like 400 pounds. Pretty hard to move. Uh, and I'm about 5'9", and I can reach up here and literally hang off my feet from here. So it's an 8-foot ceiling right here, so it gives you an example of how high up it is. You got, you got room. So I'm going to get the rest of the stuff in, the cables, the door. It's all that bits and stuff like that. See, I got half the, uh, the, the steps through now. So, and there's the cable right there. Those were all the uh, boxes of weights. And, uh, you know, if, if you're just lightly mechanically inclined, then this shouldn't be a problem. I work on cars and stuff, and I'm just a hack by some other standards of people. But this is pretty easy to put together. And it'd be nice to have help, but you can do this yourself. All right, guys. I just got the uh, the door swing out doors. It's good to make sure you have the room to open the V. <clears throat> One little tip, excuse me, that I cleared my throat. Um, when you put those little um, notch screws on, you will need a box wrench 
and it was a what size was it i had it with me 10 millimeters yeah it was a 10 millimeter box wrench you'll need to tighten these things at the top i'll show you when you hook these in place see this thing um, it's nice to have a second helper, but if you can't do it, you just use the Bach wrench and you lift this thing up while you're doing it. See that? So it gives you enough room to uh, uh, take the box wrench because it's only a two-sided uh, notch. And then you can screw it and tighten it. And once you tighten, you just tighten till firm. And then all the way down here is the same one. So what I did ended up, see, you can get to that right there. See, you can see it's only one-sided as notch. It's not like a not like a, a socket set or anything like that. So I would screw, when you put this thing together, you screw that one in first so you can then lift this up and slide it into that notch. And then you would just do a little balancing act and you balance it up here. And then you would lift this thing and slide it through. Once you've slipped it down, you slide it through and lock it into one of these holes. I usually ended up with the widest hole there's this notch that's the widest opening the narrow opening and then that's shut the hole all the way on the other side see that hole it's like right there and then once you get it to here then you can just balance it and put that screw in from the top and then you just screw it in and you'll feel like oh i don't have enough room to screw anymore because you have to lift this up which is not a uh, light but it helps with a helper and someone lifts it up and then you can do it but i'm uh strong enough let's say to tighten that up that's a little tip and trick right there that i discovered so yeah just getting it done now i think it's a matter of cables and doors and we're getting close but then i have that to put together i got the optional bench of course because the bench is going to wheel against those right there those tabs and then it's just gonna it has a handle and it lifts up and out of the way and then you can close the door Pretty, pretty clean. Ah, getting close to getting done. I just weave the cable over. Um, you have to screw it on into here. And don't forget the nut that comes with it. Just screw it a little bit on there. This is to adjust the play. And then wrap it all the way around underneath the thing. Come back around up over to the bands over there to that loop. Come across, go around this thing. Go back around, round the wheel on the back side, then come back down and over here. Now, it doesn't give you enough play for this, so the trick is I, I stack some weights over here to lift it up a little bit of the wire so I can have a little more play to uh, put in the, uh, you know, put in the rubber grommet that belongs onto this kit. It's pretty hard to weave that thing in. And then it's got some set screw, and I used a, I think this is a 2.5 millimeter. Not sure, but um, yeah, that's what you do to tighten it over here. The rubber grommet goes in there, and then this thing slips in. It's a little cantilever slot right there. You can see, see that little cantilever slot. That, or I don't know, that matches the shape of this guy right here. That slips right into there. So that's how it does it. So that's a little tip and trick too. So you can get a little bit of line. You know, just put something on there. All right. I would say this is completed. You're probably asking, where are the boards and panels? They're back there behind our sofa. Why? Because this is really for a child safety thing. And we noticed the room got dark when you put on those panels and you close it. So um, we removed it. We like the look, the raw look of the workout equipment here. So um, what it also improved too is when you release this, let me close this and show an example. It, it goes out of the way like it normally does from the room. I'll close this one too. I'll just close this. You'll notice something. That's right. If you had the board on here, there would be a wood panel right here and a wood panel right there and then a metal panel right here on this longer arm. And what it does is it closes and overlaps on top of this one. So therefore you always have to open this one first before you can open this. But now you can open either side because it's, it's not blocked by anything. And uh, yeah, the only little 
nuance and stuff that I had trouble with was probably adjusting these wing nuts, even though the instruction says from here to there is one and one quarter inch. This one turned out to be a little more um, tighter and this one is a little more looser. So I, you can adjust this and then spin this down, but you do have to undo the cable just to do that. But after you do that, then you can just put it back together and uh, hook it on there. Th this didn't come with it. This is something I had with my previous machine. I also have a, a row in tool as well. Um, my wife uses it too. And the good part too is if the door is uh, not on there, you can actually use this thing still with it. With it. Um, ugh. Use that. So you can do it on there. It just doesn't uh, articulate outward, right? It's locked like this. So you do have to open the door to open it. So it's pretty cool. Like I said, I don't think there's anyone on YouTube that has showed their thing or a micro insulation. So it does fit this room pretty well. And that's the, that's the narrow opening. You got the one more opening. See right there. And that's the wide opening. So it just, you know, V's out. And you can use wide grip or low grip. And you can move these down. Also, people wondering, I don't know if I was wondering, were these stickers? No, they're actually cut out numbers here. So you can adjust it to where you want it to be and know what number you land on and then go to the other side and adjust the number. It's really slick. Also the, uh, this bar, I was wondering, was this made out of foam? Uh-uh, hard metal with some sort of coating on it, like rhino lining coating. So it's very durable and it's not the soft foamy stuff that I was worried about. Neither is this stick that it comes with. It's made of some hard material around it as well. Um, so that's cool. And then, uh, this little stick thing, you know, you had to pound this in with a little rubber mallet to get this in. And then this thing's magnetic. So it is magnetic. You stick it on here, stick it over here and you don't need it. Oh, and also, uh, just to note the instructions did say, if you need it, just the cable, you can lift this thing up and then drop it into number five. Oh, I haven't put on the labels yet. My wife wanted to do that. So you one, two, three, four, five, lift this up, slide this pin in. And in theory, it's going to hold the stack up a little higher. So um, it'll give you more play to put this in, which wasn't too bad of a deal. It's probably more anything that little rubber, rubber thing that, that goes in there is hard. This is like that two and a half or three mil, two and a half. Allen key. You just undo those, take out this bolt, and this thing will slide out, slide back, and then you can slip out the, the thing. Really heavy duty, uh, what do you call these, can levers? So, highly recommended. This was uh, on the freight, 810 pounds. It was a beast. But um, I'm going to um, get the, uh, what do you call it, the... Uh, the bench that it comes with soon. So then you can, there's a little bit of oiling there. So then you can put the, the bench wheels to these spots right here and then lift the bench up and it would go out of the way. That's pretty, pretty slick. Plus I, plus I have the, um, these uh, dumbbells. So I could definitely use those with the bench which I was waiting for. Anyways. All right, I couldn't help it. I put together the bench real quick. It took me like 20 minutes. Instructions are perfect. They're just like the big machine. It had step one, two, three, five, eight, you know, like whatever you needed to follow the step to put the bench in here. Like I said, it's not in the way. If the door was here, it would cover this. So if you guys choose, or guys and gals, choose to put the door on there, it would have covered it. But like I said, we love seeing seeing the inner workings of, of a gym. So again, you open this up, do the same for this side, since you can open it right through either way. And then see, like I said, the wheels hit against this thing. Say, so put your foot on here, let it down, nice and gentle. 
And what's pretty sick about this is it's got the adjuster right here, right? You pull on that and you can uh, adjust the, the bench to go, well, let me see if I can. So it goes like that, you know, you need two hands, pull that thing, go up there, but it also can articulate right here. You just lift this thing up and see, it'll angle better for your uh, workout. So that's pretty, that's pretty slick. And then, oh, you can do that one-handed. Gravity helps. So that's it. And then you can pull this bench out. It's heavy duty. It's professional. It's very heavy. But at the same time, it's on wheels. I'm sure on someone's floor, it'd be a lot easier to put back. And you just lift that up. You can put your foot there just to wedge it. Put it in there gently. And that's it. And you just close this thing off. And, you know, just wedges the wheel so it doesn't go sliding. You just pull on that handle, lock it, and that's it. That's how it does it. Nice and sealed. This is awesome. It's awesome. Now it's time to use it. Maybe in a day or two because uh, my back hurts from putting all this together. 800 plus pounds worth of metal. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching.